Today in the news, we got a triple threat, some Intel and AMD motherboard news and new NVIDIA RTX software. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Intel. It looks like the Z490 platform has been leaked. Well, not so much leaked. Asus kind of just put them online for everyone to see before the release date. They put up their Prime Z490P and Prime Z490A on the website, and they look like solid boards. Plenty of I.O., PCIe slots for days, although the Z490P skimps a little on the by 16 slots, and they have two M.2s each. Oh, and uh, also, the board needs an 8-pin and a 4-pin for the CPU. Talk about power hungry. Anyways, those are the Asus Prime boards, but what about the higher end AORS models? Well, I actually got a tip on the boot sequence email that these boards will feature PCIe Gen 4 grade hardware. Now, keep in mind, PCIe Gen 4 is not supported by Intel's 10th gen, but here is how Intel describes this board on the product. I'm not going to show you the picture for obvious reasons, but here it is. PCIe 4.0 hardware design with an asterisk, PCIe 4.0 M.2 connector, PCIe 4.0 Turbo B clock, and PCIe 4.0 Ready PCB. The asterisk on the box refers you to this description. Product uses PCIe 4.0 grade material. Actual support varies by hardware configuration. This pretty much confirms that whatever comes next, aka Intel's 11th gen CPUs, will have support for gen 4. Not only that, but it means we might get some AMD level of confusion for people who buy Intel, if there are still some of them. You remember when AMD came out with Ryzen 3000 for desktops and boards from B350 to X470 had support for PCIe Gen 4? And then AMD started to say only X370, B450, and X470 would support Gen 4, and motherboard vendors started to make the BIOSes for it, and then AMD decided to shut it down and say that PCIe Gen 4 would only be supported on X570, yeah, that level of confusion. Because motherboard vendors now are making LGA 1200 Z490 boards for PCIe Gen 3, and some of those vendors will definitely have PCIe Gen 4 grade motherboards like this Asus Aorus one, and because Intel isn't explicitly saying that Gen 4 is in the plans for the uh, generation that follows, people who buy PCIe Gen 3 motherboards right now might have a nasty surprise. Moving on to some AMD news, it looks like the wait is almost over. We've been waiting for B550 motherboards for almost a year now, and we thought we'd see them late last year and then at CES 2020, but nope, nothing except for these B550 OEM boards. Now, we got a report from WCCF Tech with an announcement and a launch date. According to their industry sources, the new chipset will be announced on May 21st and will release on June 16th. If you wanted to buy a PC and are willing to wait until then, I would highly recommend you do so if you want PCIe Gen 4. The price difference between uh, AMD's 50 and 70 boards are pretty big. Moving on to some Nvidia news, the company has just introduced a brand new software with the branding of RTX. It's a background noise cancellation tool called RTX Voice. It uses the tensor cores and AI to, well, remove background noise. It doesn't only do it for the background noise coming from you though. It actually does it for whatever audio comes out of your speakers, and I gotta say, it's way more fun than I thought. Sure, it's a great tool if you conduct business and don't want your customers to hear your dogs barking in the background, that's what's happening to my little brother right now, but you can actually use it to isolate vocals in a song, remove music from a video like this one, or see how bad sitcoms or late night shows are when you remove the laugh track. Seriously, I tried it on a random Big Bang Theory clip on YouTube and it was cringe worthy. I mean, that show is already pretty cringe worthy, but anyways, the only thing is, well, since it uses the tensor cores, you can only use it on RTX 2000 cards. I think I might make a random video with some tests and uh, examples of it in action. Let me know what you think down below. Anyways guys, sorry about the lack of videos. I can't sleep more than two hours without my broken rib tickling my insides, and I'm pretty much a vegetable the rest of the day because of it. In any case, as usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. I sense a cough coming, and it's gonna hurt like hell.